This is Unregular Radio. Two-year-old girl in what police describe as a horrific case of child abuse. I'm Tyler C. Swarta. And I'm Terry Gruca. The Night Beats' Chris Betts spoke tonight with the victim's father. Chris, it's her foster mother facing charges. That's right, Terry, and we do want to give fair warning. Some of the images in this story may be difficult to see. A woman trusted with taking care of a two-year-old is charged with murder tonight after that child was rushed to a hospital in a helicopter on Monday and taken off life support late last night. This evening, I spoke with the child's father about his last moments with his little girl. B. B. He never thought his visit with her Thursday would be his last. We got to sit down at McDonald's and have lunch and play for a while. She got a little uh, Despicable Me Too toy in her Happy Meal, and she loved it. And she kept climbing up in my lap, and she fed me French fries. And it's a lot of fun. On Monday night, Joshua Hill's daughter, Alexandria, or Alex, as they like to call her, was rushed to a hospital with severe head injuries and immediately placed on life support. I, I, can't, I can't even describe it. Alex was living with foster parents after CPS removed her from her parents' home last November for neglectful supervision. Hill admits they were smoking pot when their daughter was asleep. We never heard our daughter. She was never sick. She was never in the hospital. She never had any issues until she went into state care. For two months, Alex was placed in a home that Hill says was dangerous. She would come to visitation with bruises on her and mold and mildew in her bag. It got to a point where I actually told CPS that they would have to have me arrested because I wouldn't let her go back. In January, CPS placed her with this woman, Cheryl Small. Hill says things seem safe there. They listened. They, they paid attention when we had concerns. They tried to keep us in the loop. But in the end, it wasn't enough. Hill got the call Monday night that his daughter was in a temple hospital. They wouldn't tell me what condition she was in or what was wrong or what had happened, anything. The only thing they would tell me is I needed to be there. And when I got there, it was about 1 o'clock in the morning, and I found out that Alex was in a coma. For two days, they held out hope she would regain consciousness. But on Wednesday night, Alex was taken off life support. And Alex passed around 10.30 that night. Detectives say Small's explanation didn't match Alex's injuries, and on Thursday, they charged the foster mother with murder. Okay. Hill says he was less than four months away from getting Alex back, and now... He'll never get the chance. After police were called to Alex's foster home in Rockdale Monday, CPS removed another child in the home. Small was arrested today and her bond is set at $100,000. Just heartbreaking. Thanks, Chris. Officials with the Department of Family and Protective Services tell us it relies on private child placing agencies to perform background checks on all foster homes. The agency in this case is called Texas Mentor. State records show 15 total deficiencies for the Austin branch of Texas Mentor over the past two years. Four of them were for failing to perform proper background checks on people who live in foster homes. But the state does not specify which homes were involved in those cases. Back live, two hotheads where activism happens. That, uh, man, that story. You could see the, uh, the reporter, uh, Chris Betts from KVU. KVUE in Texas. She was crying. And that's the way I feel. I mean, it just raises the goosebumps on this when uh, when you look at that baby, that Alex, she's no longer here. And uh, it's so so ridiculous. And, you know, it's, it's so funny to see their response. The Texas uh, response is, uh, we need to do more background checks. Like a, a background check wouldn't, wouldn't save this kid. How about stop fucking taking people's kids away? When they're good parents just because they use cannabis. How yeah. about that? How about that as a solution? Why, why isn't that ever brought up? I, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say, honestly. I mean, watching that just it's, it's beautiful little girl, man. and, and, and <laughs> Really beautiful. You I, you have to check it out. What the fuck did they do to that little girl, man? I mean, it's, 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 it's disgusting. It's horrible. And like... This is the kind of world that we live in where where uh, the government can come in and and take your child away from you and kill her and and and, and, and be an accomplice in in your child's death because they're not 
doing their fucking job of paying attention to who they're giving kids to or where they're putting kids, you know? And uh, and look at like that. The first, I mean, the first yeah. one to get the moldy bag, yep. and they're, 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 no, they're not actually properly taking care of the kid. And the second one, it's like, oh, everything seems great and fine, but then the kid's fucking dead. And, like, the state comes and takes his fucking kid away from him, okay? And then you can't have anything to do with kid. You don't have any rights over your kid because we're the state and we say so. But when your kid's fucking dying in a coma because you put them in a fucking foster home, now you have to come. Now you have to come and be responsible for your fucking child. Now you can. Now it's your responsibility again. It's yeah. disgusting, dude. It it's disgusting. So it makes disgusting. me sick, and I'm crying right now. And and, it, and, and look I'm, at the father you know, too. It's just I have a little kid. I I, I couldn't even fucking imagine. I, I couldn't even imagine anyone doing that. And you look at the father too. The father, you can tell. I, I you know I ju- I make judgments on people, and I can just look at that father and know that father was taking kid, care man. of his kid. Loved his he he loved kid. his kid, and and for them to take. That child away based on him smoking a joint after the kid falls asleep. Like, are you guys just what the? What is wrong with this world? Why? Why do we let this? And this is the other thing too with this marijuana reform thing. I'm so pissed off at our community lately. The people in Massachusetts are not standing up like they should. Yeah, a lot of activists did stand up for this medical marijuana. Um, protest that we just had. But this is what it's about. This is why we're protesting. And this is why I get so frustrated with people that just say, oh, we're going to repeal in 2016. Don't worry about it. Well, you know what? If it's your kid that gets taken away in 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, because you know what? When they pass the legal bill, it's not going to go away. You know that the legal bill is just going to be like the medical bill where... If I'm a medical patient in Mass and I use cannabis, you know what? Legally, they can still take my fucking kids. That's what they can still do in the state. They can they can still fire you for a job. And it's because people don't get vocal enough. People are still in the closet and people are still focused on, I'm going to get mine and my legalization in 2016. I don't care about the patients right now. Well, you know what? We passed an initiative. I know that you feel like we should help everyone. And I agree with you. But let's help the medical patients right now because we passed a law and we could further that law and we could further our cause of legalization if we let the media and the politicians and the people who write these joke initiatives know that we care about these issues. It's not just about smoking a joint. It's about these types of real situations that happen to real people where this child is dead. Well, no, it's exactly what you said last week, Mike. You know, people have fucking died. And when, when people heard you say that, they might have been like, you know, well, it's kind of extreme, man. I don't know if people have actually died. Well, this little fucking girl died. Yeah. This little girl is fucking dead, dude. This, this, <laughs> and she's not I mean, the this first. Fucking, this, this, but, like, there's videos of, like, this dude, and, like, he's teaching her the fucking ABCs, man. He's teaching her the ABCs, and it's, it's beautiful. They're sitting there together, and he's teaching her the ABCs, and, 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 this, and the state comes in, and, they, <laughs> and they, take, they take their child away from them. They take the child. Like, why were the cops there in the first place? I know. Why were the cops there in the first place? Did some fucking neighbor call and say that they smelt marijuana and so the cops came in? You know? I want to know that. I want to know why the cops were there. Were they serving a warrant? Like, what was going on? Texas. What was going on, man? You got a castle law, man, in Texas. You shoot those motherfuckers if they come in your house. You know? Without a warrant. Unreal. That's disgusting, man. It's disgusting, and it's like you know that, that kind of shit happens every single yeah, day, man. A lot. It happens it, I don't think people day realize. People love their kids. It's not like these people were, you know, it's not like these people left their kid in the house and went stemming at a gas station yeah, to a buy binge. fucking crack yeah, or dope or you know, if you don't know what stemming means, it's when you go ask people for money to buy drugs. But like fucking like. They weren't doing that, man. They were chilling out in the living room after the fucking kid was asleep. Like, wake up! Like, I don't even. I don't even. It kind of it really got me fucking upset, man. I just. Oh, it's upsetting. I, I mean, I saw it with a kid. Like, you know, I I just couldn't even imagine. I couldn't imagine, you know. And it's like, who in their right mind, like, what fucking do-gooder, right, that works for the CPS in Texas? is responsible for this. Like, who was the person that made the decision to take that child out of the house? Yeah. You know? They should be fired. They should be fucking I don't, I don't, shot! Yeah. I mean, seriously. To put it lightly, they should be fired. And <laughs> the thing is, they won't be fired. This is... 
you know, this is the system. This is the way it works. They'll cover their ass, and we'll never probably know who actually made the decision. I want to fucking know who it was. I know. Yeah. And, and again, face. this is why this marijuana thing is not about just getting high. Because you know what? We, we, get, we get high anytime we want, and we always have, and we always will. Yeah, no law is going to stop people from yeah. doing that shit, man. It's about what actually happens to people. And this little girl, this little girl, she had no choice in this. Like, that little girl has to be a, a fucking casualty of the war on drugs? Like, just, seriously? Yeah. Seriously? A little two-year-old girl who, who, who was in a safe place, who had fucking a family that loved, loved her, her? Loved her. Loved you the fucking shit it. out that, of her. That father loved his daughter. You know? And, and, and the war on drugs comes in and fucking destroys that family's life. Destroys that family's life. And that's what it does to people every single day. Whether it's a family, you know, in, in South America that's having their livelihood taken away from them. Or it's a little girl being taken away by protective services because the fucking state deems that they know what's fucking best for the child. Yep. When they don't know shit about fuck. Yep. Or someone loses a job. Or you lose your job. Or exactly. you can't get a job. You know? And then what happens? You know, you lose your job because you smoke some weed, you get disaffected by the system. And then what happens if you can't find another job? You become you know? a dealer. You become a dealer. Or you do something else that's fucking illegal because now you have this You're stain on your record now that you lost a job because of a fucking drug offense, right? Or even if you had just have a drug offense. Yep. You know, even if you just have a drug offense, you could get caught with, caught with a little bit of weed, you know, before it was fucking decriminalized. That shit's on your record. Yep. You know, that shit's on your record. These people are destroying lives. It all with, like wrapped in wrapped in like the flag of, of, of making things safer for people. And it's all about the kids. You know, it's all about the kids. It's about fucking control. It's about drug companies pushing fucking product on you. It's 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 about keeping you from expanding your fucking mind and questioning what really is going on in society that's what it's about it's about control and power it's not about protecting anyone except the interests of the people who want to keep it illegal amen <clears throat> i think uh we take think, a break yeah man. we should take a break this yeah. is uh you can see we got i mean oh, i just want to deep breathe breathe deeply i mean it, it this is what it is you know when i when i know that people think i'm i'm being hyperbolic when i say People, people have died, died. Yeah, but, but I've known. I, I go. literally you know, go. you know, I, I see these stories all the time in the media, and this one really touches us all. But I've per even personally, personally, I have known people who have died, and, and that's all I'm going to say. I mean, nothing needs to be said more. No, I mean, Frank said it best, and that's it. We'll we'll take too hot as we'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back. On regular radio.